one way you can build community and still be teaching the content that you need to teach is by using famous historical figures connected to the content um, that you're teaching, taking a close look at who they were and what they contributed to the subject, and then pinpointing their personality characteristics and, and talking about how that particular personality characteristics might help to make a better community in your classroom. Let me show you what I mean. So if we take a look at these uh, slides that you um, will have um, the, the template to, we see that um, there's two simple slides to make. You, you put your historical figure here, you find a video that gives a little information on him, or an article that gives a little information on him, and um, or you could do one or the other, and then you watch those or you read those with the class and you uh, type in here what they might be famous for. Um, and then you go on to the second uh, slide, which talks about what personality trait can we model after whoever you're studying. Um, and you can come here to this document, click on it, and it gives you good personality characteristics just a list of personality characteristics to be a good human. Um, and it gives you a little bit of a definition for each one. So you have the kids study that a little bit. They make a decision that the personality trait that we think this historical figure had, and then you put it in here. And then they, they do a little bit of evidentiary thinking by saying this is he, he or she or they were this way because, and then they write a little bit about their background. And then you, you, know, you have a, a quick conversation about, well, in math or in social studies or in science, in, in this community, we can use whatever personality trait to help us do whatever. So it's a very simple, simple process. Let me show you what it might look like in math. So here is um, Euclid. This is, uh, he, he is a, a mathematician that is known for geometry. He's also known for um, irrational numbers. Um, and um, you could, um, if you're doing a unit on geometry, or if you're doing a unit on ratios um, or um, irrational numbers, you could um, show a video on Euclid. And if you, I, I just attached the video to that text box. So you can see right here that it would go right to the video. And you'll have this, um, you'll have that you know, when, when you have the link to the, the slides, you could also read this text or just read this text out loud to the class. The other thing you're doing is, is um, modeling close reading if you decide to read um, the text. Um, and um, then you, after watching or after reading, you would write what they were famous for. And let's say that the kids decided that, um, they decided that Euclid was a teacher. They found the word teacher on this positivity, positive personality traits. And so they decided, you know, th that's a personality trait that Euclid had and they say why. And in the text and in the video, they find out that he shared what he knew with the leader of Egypt. He also would go out into the square and share what he knew with regular people. He also wrote a text, a book that was the longest running textbook ever called Elements. Um, and um, they they decide that Euclid was a really good teacher. And then the discussion is, well, you know, how can you take that personality trait, being a good teacher, and how can that help us in the community that we're in in our math class? And and so the kids might discuss. We can be a teacher to help each other understand the things we're studying and learning in our math units. The purpose of this, or the 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 hope, is that you would then have a battery of slides that you could go back to to remind the kids what it means to be a good community member in the math class that you have or in the history class that you have or in the science class you have while still teaching the content that you need to teach. Another thing that you could do is to create a wall of, of, of personality, community personality uh, trait words where the kids could always see them, that the wall would be up in the classroom perhaps with the picture of the historical figure next to it to remind them um, so that the ideas of being a good community member would be, you know, connected constantly with historical figures that were in, involved in your subject, but it would also be a way to remind them on, on how to be a good community member in the class. Hopefully this is something that you might think about doing. And uh, as always, if you need help doing this, or if you'd like me 
to um, make some sl slides for you, adding video links and, and um, text links um, for specific people. I'm, I'm definitely available to do that. Just uh, contact me at lfisher at gfsd.org.